Hello, in this video we're going to be going over how to create custom animations for the Unreal Engine Skellington in Blender. First, you're going to want to make sure you have Mr. Mannequin's tools, which is an add-on to Blender. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download it. And once you've downloaded it, it should be in a RAW file, which you can just leave on your desktop. And then you will want to open Blender and then go to Edit, and then go to Preferences. And then we're going to install this add-on. So if you just go to where you've downloaded it and just select it and click install add-on. And now it'll be installed. So what we want to do is just tick that checkbox and now it'll be in our blender. So I'm just going to tick it and then I'm going to close this. So next, if we just delete the default cube and select Mr. Mannequin's tools. In the rig, you want to scroll down and select the UE4 Mannequin Skeleton and click load rig. And this will just load the rig of the UE4 Skeleton. And then we want to add the mesh. So if we just select the rig and then in the mesh, we want to scroll down and select SK mannequin underscore LOD01 and then click load mesh. And now we'll have the mannequin. Uh, you should be a bit familiar with Blender as we're going to be doing a bit of animation with it. So next we select the rig and then click on pose mode. If we select this and then press G, we'll be able to move the mesh around and now we can like Make an animation for it. So if we go to the animation tab, so I'm just gonna select it, and then if we just select the rig and then click pose and clear transform, so we can just make an animation from a fresh start. I'm just gonna go to the middle and go to the dope sheet and select action editor, and we're gonna create a new animation, and I'll just call this jump star jump animation. I'm gonna make him go in a star jump. I'm going to select this X so it will mirror his right and left hand. And we select this with G and then just move them up. And then I'm going to rotate his hand so they're a bit up. And then we want to select his leg, his feet. And I'm just going to G and grab them to the side. So now he's in a star jump position. And if we select A for everything and click lock rock scale, it will just save all his positions. I'm just going to duplicate this and move it to frame 20. And then in the middle, I'm going to make him go back to a normal position. So it'll look like he's doing a star jump. So I'm just going to grab this with G and then rotate his hands so they're a bit more normal. And then I'll just grab these. And you can like play around with these if you want to make your own custom animations. Like this is a really helpful tool. And then I just press, press A and then click lock right scale again. So now I have his star jump animation. So I'm just gonna change the end to 20. And if we hit his baseball and play, he'll start doing his star jump animation. So now we're going to export it to Unreal Engine. So what we'll do is just go back to the layout mode. So you can see everything. And before we can export it, we need to save it. So I'm just going to save this and call it UE4 man. And once we've saved it, we'll be able to export it. So we just check the export animations button and then just click the export FBX. It will export our animation. And then we close this. We now have our exported animation. So next we're going to import the animation to Unreal Engine. So if we just open it up, and go to the mannequin and into his animations folder. We just uh, small in this tab and then import the animation we've made. In the Skellington, we're just gonna select the U4 mannequin Skellington and click import. And now our animation will be in Unreal Engine. So if we just double click to see it, you can see it's working fine. And if we just close this, we're gonna make it so our player can do this animation. So if we right click this animation and click create and a montage, and then if we go inside, we'll see that this is playing through the default slot. So to make him play this animation, we're going to reference it. So if we go to the third person animation blueprint in the default state machine, we're just going to drag off this and write default slot and plug this in. And now our character will be able to play his anim montages. So I'm just going to close this and go into the third person BP. And if we right click and look, I'm gonna make it when he presses one, he's gonna do his animation. So on this, I'm gonna look for play Alan Montage. And then I'm going to select the Alan Montage that I just created. 
and click compile and now when we click play he's when we press one he's going to do the custom animation we've made and that's how to make a custom animation for your character with blender and engine if you enjoyed uh, like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye